The next one is the saturated vapor point. This is so, so important, not only for CO2, but for other refrigerants. Like when we get into glide refrigerants, that is something really important. I know I talked to so many manufacturers who started to tell me like, Trevor, I'm working with 407 F or A. We know that refrigerant is starting to go away if it's not already uh, phased down, but there's 10, 12, 15 degree glide in some of these refrigerants. And it's like to design like an SST uh, and design a coil for that is very difficult. For CO2, it's not that difficult, a single blend. Uh, you want to understand what that dew point is or the vapor point. So, Because we always want to make sure that we have vapor going back to those CO2 compressors. The booster compressors or the transcritical compressors, we want to make sure that we always have a specific amount to surf superheat. So this is why we need to understand the saturated vapor point or the dew point.